Gonzalez. That is on Wendy G. Kenny. To be or not to be. To be or not to be a drag queen. There lies the question. Therefore, the answer must be within reach. In a lifestyle, in a lifespan, the life has to offer. Whether you're a boy or a girl, whether you're in the fabulous city of New Orleans, or whether you're in San Francisco, New York City, Miami, Florida, or Detroit, Michigan, or New Jersey, or New York, yeah, New York, New York, New York, or Syracuse, or Lafayette, Louisiana, or Lafayette, Indiana, or Illinois, or Illinois, whatever. Uh, no matter where you're at. If you love drag, you're going to try it. Well, don't hesitate too much. At least try it. If you don't want to be a consummate professional, but you just love to dress up, there's no grammar about it. Uh, it. It's a lot of fun. It's worth trying a little bit. We all live once in life. I suggest you try it. If you want to. If you want to watch the rest there. Uh, if you want to watch drag shows, then sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Whether you are gay, bisexual, curious, or just plain straight, no matter. A drag queen is an entertainer. That's the difference between a drag queen and, let's say, a transsexual. A transsexual is someone who has the belief that they were born in the wrong body. Therefore, they get a little operation to fix a problem. The whole mindset is in the opposite sex that they are born with. And that's why and I love them very much. We have several performers who are that way. Then we have, of course, the cross dressers or transvestites. Men who are, whether well, bisexual, I curious or straight, or gay, who would rather just dress up in the opposite sex garments. Men dress like women, women dress like men. They do not necessarily perform at shows, but they feel comfortable by what to term cross-dressing. And that's why. That is a lifestyle. And that's a lifestyle. And some of them has have great sense of fashion. And some, they try to keep up with the times or whatever, with the trends and so what, what else. Different trends, different uh, whatever. But they go on, they live lives like that. It's a lifestyle. And then, of course, you have the female impersonators or drag queens. But the female impersonator is the one that is more dramatic and tends to impersonate Famous celebrities like, um, like Whitney Houston, Whitney Williams. Uh, do they say Whitney Williams? They say Whitney Williams. Uh, do a girl. Um, uh, Tina Turner, you name it. They imitate those celebrities, therefore, uh, in their impersonations. Uh, in this fine, that's their genre, that's what they do. Then you have Sky drag, which is basically a man with a little bit of build, makeup, so you can tell it's a man with makeup and dressed up in women's garments. Most of them are mostly clinic. Then you have camp drag, which is strictly comedic. These performers dress up in very clownish uh, makeup and uh, nothing much serious about it. Lots of makeup, very much what the name bears, you know, which is camp, which is comedic to extreme that is overly exaggerated. Big eye makeup, big eyebrows, big lips, and the whole disposition is for that, so entertain you in a comedic style. And then you have a drag queen. Like me, or RuPaul, or Hedda Lettuce, 
o Bianca del Rio. My makeup is very much stage makeup. You can dress glamorous in our glam. We dress to the nines and to the tens most of the time. And we perform numbers with a lip sync or sing, and we can go from a very serious number to an old extreme of comedic numbers. It's a wide range. Of course, there's always a dispute of which one is which. But at the end, it's all about drag. Dress as a girl. That's the code for drag. Dress as girl. And uh, it's part of the entertainment lineup. It's part of shows that most people enjoy, whether uh, they're gay, straight, bisexual, or whatever. And it brings an alternative to entertainment. And besides, I believe this world could be a lot darker than what's for drag queens. Drag queens, we bring a little extra genesis into the equation. We are the ambassadors of the gay community, absolutely. But also, we are the alternative to entertainment. It's not about how you feel internally or as a person. It's a show. And whatever you do before and after that show, it's up to you. It's also an extension of acting. There have been plenty of actors who have performed as drag queens. Or they have an alternate alter ego. Uh, Milton Berle is one of them. Um, let's see who else. Um, Flip Wilson. With Evangeline. Then you have Tyler Perry, the most recent, of course, is Tyler Perry. With Madea. Then, of course, we have uh, Eddie Murphy with a multiple array of characters ranging from men and women. And then we have, of course, Tim Carey, who has done so many characters. It's just I lost count. And a lot of people probably did. Even he lost count. Uh, a little introduction, a little sharing of the knowledge. If you got any more info, you want to share it with me. You want me to spread the word. If you want me to say anything about whatever you want me to say about, just come to my Facebook and let me know, and I'll be more than willing to spread the word. Spread the word all over the land. So, uh, there you have it for now. I hope that these little rants were kind of useful to you all, oh, my dears. Alright, kitties. I love you all more and more each day and every night. Love is stronger. Love is there. And remember, sharing is caring. Good night, y'all.